Hello everyone, today our group will present you the presentation of transitivity and register analysis of the flipping tense. There are five members of the group, Dila, Hafiz, Okti, Aga, and myself, Hana. The content of presentation, there will be five speakers. The first speaker will be me. I will explain to you the transitivity and register analysis of paragraph one, and two. Second speaker will be Okti. She will explain paragraph three and four. Third speaker will be Dila. She explain paragraph fifth, sixth, and seven. Uh, fourth speaker will be Aga. She explain paragraph eight and nine. And the last speaker will be Habits. He will explain to you paragraph 10, 11, and 12. I will explain to you first the transitivity analysis. There will be uh, paragraph 1 and 2. Uh, paragraph 1, uh, the first clause is Term Flip Classroom was originally coined by Baker 2000 and Lake Platt and Trigilla, Trigilia 2000. The term Flip Classroom was, it's a mode, uh, the term Flip Classroom is a subject and was uh, because it is a past tense verb, it is a finite, and then the subject is from flip is non finite, uh, the process is existential, and then the verb is lexical. Classroom is a hat, and then the term is nominal group, which is contain the, it is a dictic, and term is noun hat. Um, and then originally coined by Baker is a residue. Uh, uh, all of the residue circumstances adjunct and then original coin by is the circumstances is a reason and then originally is adverb coin is non-finite the process is relational verb is lexical by is preposition and baker is participant actor second clause is by providing an observer model of teaching the flip classroom become one all of the clause is a mode and then uh, by is preposition, providing is conjunction, and is dictic, upside down, uh, upside down model of teaching is a subject, uh, the circumstantial adjuncts of uh, also a sub upside down model of teaching, and the circumstances is purpose. And the flip classroom become one, a uh, flip is a verb, is a verb non finite. The process is existential, the verb is lexical. Classroom is had, and become is a verb also, it is a non finite verb, the process is relational. Second paragraph, the first clause is because most knowledge in the flip is delivered by video clips. Because most knowledge in the flip is, is a complement, because a specific reason from most knowledge in the flip is delivered and it's a conjunction um, and then in is a preposition the is a tactic noun is a noun tactic and then a flip is a verb uh, flip is deliver is a verbal group which is a finite and the process is material flip is verb lexical is is auxiliary verb deliver is lexical by video clips is a circumstances manner by is preposition video is noun head Clips is pretty good. The second clause uh, is that student watch at home before attending class. That student watch is a mood at home before attending class is residue. That is conjunctive adjunct is a linker and the manner is means. Student is the subject of this clause, which is a participant actor and the noun is had. Is a noun had. Watch is a verb, is a finite, the process is material. At home is a circumstances places, place, and uh, at is proposition, home is noun head, before attending class is circumstances manner of means, and at home before attending class is preposition of phrase, and uh, is divided also into preposition and a nominal group, which is preposition is at, and nominal group is, uh, there are uh, four of them, noun head is home, preposition is uh, before attending is adjective of time class is noun classifier um, here I will explain to you the register analysis 
uh, the first one, uh, there will be three of them, as we all know that. Um, the, the first one is field, uh, tenor, and mode. The field from the text is uh, is that the text is about flipped classroom, you know, that provide an upside down model of teaching by giving students opportunity to learn through video, clip, video clips provided by teacher. Therefore, students can prepare themselves to watch at home before attending class. Second is tenor. This is a non-interactive text, whereas the text is a research text that's shown to public. And then the last one is mode. The text can be considered as written text, whereas it is discussing about student experience in new learning method. Moreover, the text is reporting the event which doesn't happen spontaneously. Um, the second speaker will be Opie. Thank you. Hello, my name is Opti. So today, uh, I want to share the transitivity analysis and the register on paragraph 3 and paragraph 4. On the paragraph 3, there are two clauses. The first one is where students can watch. The where is a binder and special same place. The student is a mood. Uh, it acts uh, as an actor and it is a noun also can watch is a residue it is the process is material and can is a model and watch is a verb lexical the second clauses is that students are struggling with a concept that is a linker it is enhancing and divided as a manner is means and the students is the mood subject and it is uh, the participants the participants is a sensor and students is a noun and the residue is are struggling with a concept are struggling is predicator and the process of this close is process mental. It is verbal group because there are contests of verb auxiliary and verb event. And the circumstantial adjunct is with a concept. Uh, it is also divided into provision, prop, proportional phrase, and uh, proportional is with a concept is a nominal group. And it is a uh, is didactic and concept is a noun. On the fourth paragraph, there are two clauses. The first one is in CLT classrooms, activities should be meaningful. The mood is in CLT classroom activities, and the residue is should be meaningful. The subject also same as the mood in CLT classrooms activities and the predicator is be, should be, but should is a finite model and the complement is meaningful. The in CLT classroom is divided into circumstantial adjunct it is also place or special and the preposition, preposition is in and CLT classroom is nominal group. Uh, CLT is a epithet and classroom is a noun, noun hat. Uh, activities also participant, it acts as an actor and it is a noun. B is a predicator and it is verb auxiliary and the meaningful is a participant goal and it is noun epithet and the second clause is, is an involve real communication uh, in this clause uh, there is no mood but there is a residue involve real communication and is a conjunctive adjunct and it is extending or an additive positive involve in here act 
is a predicator and the process is material and it is a verb lexical the complement is real communication the it is also act as participant and it is a goal it is also a nominal group the epithet is real and the noun hat is communication now let's go move on to the register analysis in the field the field of discourse refers to the topic which describes the activities or processes that happen in the text in this paragraph paragraph 3 and 4 it discusses the opportunity of flipped classrooms and explaining the role of students in the teacher in class and the teacher in class and this text was explained the CLT programs and the tenor the tenor of this course refers to the role relationship between the participants in conclusion this text can be considered as a non interactive text where written text directly explain it to the public when analyzing a non interactive text or its tenor uh, personally i need to find the personality of the author in the text the first one is impersonalization impersonalization texts are creating a willing of objectivity and getting over from personal perspective the example is students are more aware of what they need to learn more about at home before they come into the classroom and the second one is standing it tell us about how much of a claim the author say lays to expertise and authority by providing information of a factual event from the text for example in CLT classrooms, activities should be meaningful and involve real communication. And the third one is stance. Stance is the part where the author seemingly allows you to argue with the content, to agree or disagree. A stance is a word sub subdivided into attitude and modality. The first one is attitude. The attitude of this text tell us whether positive or negative or natural meanings are expressed. For example, teachers are no longer lectures or instructors. And the second one is modality. The modality of a text is an aggregate of various meanings relating to permission, ability, obligation, necessity, valuation, and prediction. For example, where students can watch or read as many times as they need to fully grasp a newly introduced concept. The third, the third is mode. Mode of discourse refers to how language being used, whether the channel of communication is spoken or written or language is being used as a mode of action or reflection. Uh, the text, the flipped experience, can be examined as a text of a scientific exposition which discuss the flipped experience of students which has an impact on their study. Furthermore, language is used as a reflection rather than an action as the text reports an event that has occurred that shows no spontaneity, spontaneity without direct conversation. As explained above in the section on impersonalization, the first one is situational context. In this text, we can see that the text field is the student's flipped experience which affects their study and the second one is cultural context 
In exposition, the participants are mostly actor. Process is usually material, for example, doing and happening, with some relational, for example, being, and exist, existential, for example, existing. The verbs are mostly in the present tense because they are scientific texts. Okay, that's all for me. Let's move on to another paragraph. Thank you. Um, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, my name is Tila Rohmadani. Um, I'm going to present my analysis um, about the flipping text regarding the transitivity and the register analysis. The first is the transitivity analysis. Um, I take this clause from the fifth paragraph. The first pa uh, the first clause is they may read the materials. They is a mood or subject and may read the materials is a residue. Um, a residue is consists of the predicate and the words until the end, and um, this clause is a material and because the clause the process is a material uh, we know that the participant actor is a day and day material is a participant participant go and from the process is a may read uh, is a verbal group which is consists of model and the predicator and the material is a also nominal group um, the is a noun dictic and the material is a noun of hat the next uh, clause um, still in the same paragraph they may forget much of the information they is a mode or subject may forget much of the information is a residue and um, from this clause we know that the process is a mental um, and uh, because the mental mental process um, the participant sensor is they and much of the information is a participant phenomenon and they is a pronoun and may forget is a verbal group also which is consists of model and a predicator much of the information is a nominal group uh, is a much of is a noun of numerative and the is a noun of dictic and information is a noun of hat um, the next paragraph, um, the flipped classroom solved this problem. Um, the flipped classroom is a mood or subject, solve this problem is a residue. From this clause, we know that the process uh, is a material, because the uh, process is material, we know that the participant is actor uh, of the, from the, the flipped classroom. And uh, this problem is a participant goal, and the flipped uh, classroom is a nominal group which is consists of the the is a noun of tactic, flipped is a noun of classifier, and cl classroom is a noun of hat. And this problem is a nominal group also uh, cons consists of this is a noun of tactic, and problem is a noun of hat. And the next paragraph, um, this is a particularly true in China. This is a mood or subject. It's a particularly true in China. It's a residue. And um, this clause is a process of this clause is a relational identifying. And the participant is token uh, from this. And particularly true in China is a value. And this is a relative pronoun and particularly is a circumstances of manner. And I found the circumstances of location in China and in is a adverb of place and China is a noun of hat. Um, move on to the register analysis. Register analysis consists of field, tenor, and mode. Um, the first is the field. The text discuss about the differences between assigning reading of the homework with a video lecture. 
This text was explained the deficiency of the traditional homework and the excellences of flipped classroom. And the next is a tenor. Uh, tenor, this, ca this text can be considered as a non-interactive text where written text directly explained to the public. And for the evidence, the, for the impersonalization, the evidence is a student works alone and may not be able to self-assess and how he or she is doing with a particular thing or concept until the next class meeting. And for the standing, the evidence is those skeptical of the flipped model may question what the difference is between signing reading of the homework phases of the versus a video lecture beside the medium of technology. And the stand consists of attitudes and modality, and uh, for the attitudes, uh, con uh, the evidence is student works alone and uh, may not be able to self-assess how he or she is doing with a particular reading or concept until the next class meeting. And I found the modality also. They may read the materials, with, but without having any discussion with via written. And then last is a mode of register analysis. The flipped experience text can be examined as a scientific exposition text in which discussing about the flipped experience of the student which give impact to their study. Moreover, language is used as a reflection instead of action since the text is reporting the event that happened which doesn't show any spontaneity without any direct conversation as I explained in the personal session section above. And for the situational context, in this text, we can see that the field of this text about the flipped experience of the students which give impact of their study and uh, for the cultural cultural context in exposition participants are mostly actor and process are usually uh, material with some relational and uh, several of mental and existential and the verb are mostly is uh, present tense since is a scientific text um that's all uh thank you hello I'm speaker 4, Algadil Fasuchi Maulidia, and I will explain about the analysis from paragraph 8 and 9. Okay, the first one will be transitivity analysis, and it starts from paragraph 8. In paragraph 8, we start from in a well-designed CLT classroom. Accuracy shouldn't be sacrificed over fluency. In, in here, as the adverb of place. A well-designed CLT classroom as the residue. It is also the circumstantial adjunct and then the circumstance is place. A well-designed CLT classroom is the nominal group. A as the didactic, well-designed as the noun epithet, CLT as the classifier, and classroom as the noun head. Next, accuracy. Accuracy here as the mood and also the subject. It is the participant actor, and then it is also the noun head. Should not be sacrificed over fluency. It is the residue, and then for the should not be sacrificed, it is the process material, and then be sacrificed is the predicator. Should as the model, and be sacrificed as the verbal group. B as the verb auxiliary and sacrifice it as the verb lexical. Over fluency. Over fluency here as the complement and then the participant goal. It is also the prepositional phrase where over as the preposition and fluency as the noun head. Next, but can be maintained through activities that promote a natural use of language. The first one is but can be maintained it is as the mood and then but here as the subject also the participant actor and also the noun head can be maintained can as the finite 
and then be maintained as the predicator and then the can also the model be maintained here as the process material and also the verbal group where be as the verb auxiliary and maintain as the verb lexical next two activities here as the residue and then also the complement and then it is participant goal also the nominal group and consider as the prepositional praise true as the preposition and activities as the noun head next that that here as the conjunctive adjunct and then linker also for enhancing and then the manner is means next promote a natural use of language here as the residue promote as the predicator also the process material and the verb is lexical next a natural use of language it is the circumstantial adjunct and then the circumstance is manner a natural use of language is also the prepositional phrase where a natural use as the nominal group of as the preposition and language is the noun head a as the tactic natural as noun epithet and use as the noun classifier next for transitivity analysis for paragraph 9 we start from this clauses in which teachers disseminate knowledge to students who passively take notes and partake in road drill exercises we start from in in here as the preposition which as the pronoun relative and also the type take next teachers here as the mood and then teachers as the subject and then also the participant actor teachers also the noun hat and then we move to disseminate disseminate here as the predicator also the process material and the verb is lexical next knowledge knowledge here as the noun head next to to here as the preposition student who is the mood and then also the subject it is also the participant goal students here as the noun head next passively takes passively take notes and partake in road drill exercises it is the residue where passively is the adverb of manner and also the noun epithet take here as the predicator process material and the verb is lexical next notes notes here as the noun head next and and here as the conjunctive at conjunctive and then uh partake partake here as the predicator process material and the verb is lexical next in road drill exercise here as the circumstantial adjunct and then the road drill exercise is the circumstance manner in road drill exercise is also considered as the prepositional phrase wherein as the preposition and road drill exercise as the nominal group where road drill is the noun classifier and exercise is the noun head next we move to the next clause because many teachers feel that time is limited and should be spent on acquiring knowledge we start from because because here as the conjunction many teachers as the mood also the subject and then it is the participant actor many teachers also the noun head next feel that time is limited is residue feel as the predicator also process mental and then the verb is lexical next that that here as the conjunctive adjunct linker also enhancing and the manner is means next um time time here as the noun head and then is here as the predicator process for the process is material and then the verb is lexical limited as the noun epithet 
This is uh, the time is noun had and limited is noun habitat because time is limited is the nominal group. Next, and and here is the conjunction. The last one is should be spent on acquiring knowledge. Here as the residue should be spent also the predicator process material verbal group where should as the model be as the verb auxiliary and spend as the verb lexical next on on here as the preposition acquiring knowledge acquiring here as the predicator process material and the verb is lexical and then knowledge knowledge here as the complement also participant goal and then it is the noun head that's all for uh, transitivity analysis in paragraph 9. Next, we move to register analysis for paragraph 8 and 9. The first one is field. The field of this course refers to the topic which describes the activities or processes that happen in the text. It is clear that in the, the flip experience text below, we can see the process which discusses about the comparison of CLT classroom and traditional teacher-fronted classes for students in China. Next, for the tenor. The tenor of this course refers to the role of relationship between the participant. In conclusion, this text can be considered as a non-interactive text where written text directly explained to the public. So, the flip experience text is considered as impersonalization text. Okay, impersonalization or impersonalized text are creating a feeling of objectivity, of being free of personal biases. This is a common technique in scientific texts. In this text, there are non-personal pronouns such as I, he, or she, or even pronoun you because it is referred to the audience. In this text, the author show the objectiveness of the text. Okay, for example, in this um, clause, students can be given the opportunity to produce language. Why it is impersonalization? It is because the author mentions students. He or she is not included in impersonalization. That's why um, the author, uh, including the students, not he or she. Next, um, in the tenor, there are standing and also stands. For the first one is standing. It tells us about how much of claim the author lays to expertise and authority by providing information of a factual even from the text, for example, mechanical practice happens in a controlled environment, utilizing drills and substitution. Next, tense. Tense is the part where the author seemingly allows you to argue with the content, to agree or to disagree. Stand is further subdivided into attitude and modality. Next, attitude. The attitude of a text tells you whether positive, negative, or neutral meanings are expressed. Attitude can be more or less explicit, and therefore more or less easy to detect. Assume attitude are attitude which are mentioned as if they were truths accepted by everyone on which another argument can be built. For example, in this um, text, is this in a well-designed CLT classroom, accuracy should not be sacrificed over fluency, but can be maintained through activities that promote a natural use of language. Next, agency and effectiveness. The main idea of agency and effectiveness analysis is when a certain event is constructed with a certain attitude by a text, then the participants who have the most agency in the event also tend to be viewed with the same attitude by a typical reader. In other words, the attitude of a process rubs off onto the agents, as in, students can be given the opportunity to produce language that may not be predictable, and then provided with inductive methods of error correction that help to promote accuracy. We can see from this three 
we can see from um, this text uh, from flip experience this text refers to students because students here is the agent next Modality. The modality of a text is an aggregate of various meanings relating to permission, ability, obligation, necessity, volition, and prediction. For instance, from this text is knowledge they believe is all that will allow them to enter university and to make a better place for themselves. It is considered as a strong epistemic modality. It is because here the author uses will. The last one is the mode. The mode of a text can be modeled as a point in a continuum defined by axis, as a spoken or written axis. First, there is situational context. The situational context is based on the register analysis. In this text, we can see that the feel of the text is about the CLT classroom. Furthermore, the tenor is impersonalization based on the factual data which provided in the text. And then lastly, the mode of the text can be identified as in written channel in the form of a scientific research text. Next, cultural content. The purpose of this text is to give an information about a phenomenon as well as to persuade the reader about the idea which is an important matter. Participants are mostly actor, process are usually material, doing or happening with some relational being and, ex and existential or existing. The verbs are mostly in present tense. Uh, that's all for paragraph 8 and 9. Thank you. So today I will discuss about transi transitivity, paragraph 10 until paragraph 12. In paragraph 10, there is sentence and this contributes to the lack of in-class participation. And this conjunction and this is mood, mood related with subject and the participant is actor and contributes to the lack of in-class of participant is residue. The contributes is process, material, and to the lack of in-class of participant is participant goal to is preposition and the lack of in class of participant is nominal group and the is the tick lack is hat and of in class of participant is prepositional phrase of is prepositional now in class is hat noun and of participant is prepositional phrase and of is prepositional prepositional and participant is had and the second sentence western teachers are often struck by students shyness well western chi i'm sorry western teachers is mute mood in subject and western teachers also participant token it also nominal group and western is classifier and the teacher is head R is process uh, relident and often struck by students is residue often struck is participant value and by student sinus is object of complement and often is adverb of frequency by is preposition and student sinus is adjective preposition student is noun and sinus is adjective in paragraph 11 there are sentence this is why flipping in chinese context is crucial this is mood and is why flipping in the class in the Chinese context is crucial is participant value and this also is participant as token and is is process validant and also is is finite verb finite why is relational pronoun flipping is noun 
and in the Chinese context is nominal group and is crucial is adjective preposition in the Chinese context in is prepositional the is the tick Chinese is classifier and not and context is head and in the paragraph 12 we there are sentence we must first question we is mood subject and participant as sensor and we as pronoun must must is process in mental and predicator and first question is participant in phenomenon first question also nominal group and first is adverb and noun is head and I'm sorry and question is head for a gister analysis the first analysis is filled this text discuss about the reason why flipping classroom in China is important and the recommendation for China to use flipped approach to teach English in China and the second is tenor the tenor in this text can be considered as a non-interactive text where written text directly explained to the public in the end and the evidence is in the first one is impersonalization there are sentence in the text if we are to recommend the flipped approach to English teacher in China we must first question and standing this is why flipping in the Chinese context is crucial flipping extends the borders of the classrooms creating a virtual classroom and stands in stands there are two the first one is attitude Western teachers are often struck by the student shyness when they first encounter a class of Chinese students and in modality where homework in the traditional classroom may have involved answering some comprehension questions or writing an essay and the second modality we must first question if this model is viable for Chinese learners and the last one is mode the flip experience text can be examined as a scientific exposition text in which discussing about the flipped experience of students which gives impact to their study and the situational context in this text we can see that the field of the text is about the flipped experience of students which give impact to the study and in cultural context in exposition, participants are mostly actor, process are usually material, it can be doing and happening, with some relational, being, and existential or existing. The verbs are mostly in present tense, since it is a scientific text. That's all from us. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.